trying to get it to uh, show up on my laptop so that I can see your comments in real time. Bear with me. I started a, a stream a little bit early so that we could work out some of these little kinks. <clears throat> Good morning. Okay, let's see. All right, not too much of a delay, it doesn't look like. How's the sound? Oh. Sound coming through okay? Someday I'm going to figure out how to uh, not look like white out against my backdrop. I don't know. I need some I need some sunshine or something. <sighs> All right. If you are here and you are watching and you're joining for yoga, definitely drop me a comment in uh, the chat and let me know that you're here. And maybe um, if it's not obvious who you are, <laughs> let me know that too. Um, so, I did a test stream on Twitch yesterday that seemed to work pretty well. Hopefully it's gonna, if it's going to work better than Facebook Live, we'll see. Screw Facebook Live. It's the worst. Yes, I, I know, I know who you are, Alex. You told me yesterday. Love you. Hey, there we go. Trying to make sure I can post onto the Mindful Spoon Facebook page, but it doesn't like that from my phone. Let me go and see if it up. No. Okay, it thinks I'm about right. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, oh wait. Can I? And this is definitely there's a learning curve here, guys. I'm I'm trying to figure out. Uh, trying to figure out how all of this works out, kind of as I'm doing it. So, <laughs> bear with me. You've stuck with me through all of the Facebook shenanigans, so a little little bit more patience. And then we'll be good to go. We'll be unstoppable. Alright. Let's take a moment. Yay, now you can't see it. Ha. Huh. Let's take a moment and really ground ourselves. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. Feel both sit bones down onto the floor. Start your fit bits if you do such things. Both sit bones are pressing down, legs can be crossed or stacked, whatever's comfortable for you. Hands are resting lightly on the knees, shoulders are drawing down and back, but not like, not really like squeezing them back, just a soft, gentle opening of the chest. If you notice you are leaning forward, see if you can bring the weight back so that your whole spine is stacked. Take a nice deep breath in. 
and deep breath out. Again, deep breath in. Breath out. One more giant inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. All right. Let's take the arms, reach them all the way up. Take the left hand, get a hold of your right wrist. I just want you to tilt to the left, drawing the right arm up and across. You can spread your right hand out or just keep it relaxed, whatever you like, whatever feels good. Feeling the side body stretch down the right side body. Come back up to center and let's switch sides. Getting a hold of the wrist. And tilting to the right, very gently drawing up and across on the left arm. Hmm. Good morning. Pretty sure I recognize that handle. Hmm. Come back up to center. Float the arms down. <sighs> Beautiful. Take the right hand behind, left hand across, just a gentle twist starting. To get the body moving, warming up everything. Big inhale, and as you exhale, try to twist a little bit more. Again. And bring it back to center and just switch sides. Left hand behind, right hand across. Lengthen up, twist. Now you're not trying to twist so hard that maybe you find some uh, crunchies or pops in your back, but you might feel them there, you might notice them. Let's loosen everything up before we start getting into the intense stuff. Not that we're going to get real intense today, guys, let's be real. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more. Ah. <sighs> Bring it back to center. Now sweep the arms up. Left hand grabs right wrist. We're going to tilt over to the left just like before, but this time I want you to try and turn slightly so that your chest is beginning to open up towards the ceiling. If you want, you can try to press the hands back so you're opening up even more. Now if this really is not great for your lower back, just keep the chest forward and work on that sideways tilt. Bring it back to center. Switch hands. Find the tilt first. Stay here if you need to. Maybe open the chest up towards the ceiling. And when I say open the chest up towards the ceiling, you'll notice I'm turning maybe an inch. Maybe an inch. Like, it's not you're trying to really open up here. It's from the side. Open up a tiny bit just to find a slightly different stretch. Hands can press back, opening up a little more. And bring it back to center. Float it down. Now switch which leg is in front or on top. It's entirely up to you. Let's two, whichever one you are. And find another twist. Right hand behind, left hand across. Feeling maybe a little bit more openness. Maybe a little bit more mobility. Now this time you're going to press your left hand into your knee as if you're trying to push yourself around a little more, but then I want you to keep that strong, keep that rigid, and try to turn back towards the front. Relax. Turn back towards the front. Relax. Your left arm is a wall of resistance, so you're not going to go very far. Press. Relax. Now push into the arm and try to twist back behind you a little bit more. Ah, and slowly unwind. Right hand across, left hand behind. We find that twist. Press into the right hand. Arm is rigid. It is resistance for you. And we try to turn back towards the front. And then relax. 
back towards the front squeeze. Relax, all of the work is happening in the core here. Twist, relax, and then press into the right hand and try to look over the left shoulder a little more. You might feel a little bit more softness, a little bit more openness there because of that little resistance. <sighs> Time that's unwind. Alright, bottom of the feet come together. We're probably going to do a lot of back mobility stretches and strengthening and movement and everything because my back is killing me. It has not been happy for a long time and I'm, I'm working on it and so that means you guys are going to work on it too. Hands come to the ankles, bottom of the feet together. You can have them 12-ish inches out. You don't want them tucked all the way up in however far you can. They can even be out a little bit farther than that if you want. Inhale, draw the chest forward, pull the shoulders back. Eyes go up, heart goes up. And then exhale, round, cave in on yourself. You can even lean back into it, tuck the chin. Whew. Inhale, up, and feel that stretch across the chest, lengthening in the back. Exhale, round, you're probably going to feel this stretch from the back of your pelvis to the top of your head if you tuck your chin down. Again, inhale, up. Exhale. One more time like that. Inhale, chest up, eyes up, lengthen. Exhale, round as much as you can. Come back up to a neutral position and then lengthen up. Lean forward into a stretch. This is going to get into the hips and the glutes. You're keeping strong, straight spine and you want to think about Tilting forward without hunching. So your eyes are staying pretty fixed on one place as you come down. You might fold all the way over your legs. You might not. You might not go very far with a flat back. That's okay. You feel this stretch in the back of the hips, maybe in the glutes. Maybe in the outer thigh a little bit. just depends on how tight you are. You can walk your hands forward here for support if you need. If you want a little boost in your stretch, you can press the palms down into the floor. Try to drag your hands back towards you, giving yourself just that little bit of extra stretch. Let's walk both hands over to the right, reaching the hands out. You can try to stretch your left hand out a little bit farther. Deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Walk the hands back through center, over to the left, trying to reach your right hand farther than your left. And when I say farther, I mean like keeping the thumbs side by side, but your right thumb is now ahead of your left thumb. Feeling the stretch down the side body. Let's walk it back to center, out as far as you can. And round over the legs. Now, if you're not as low as I am here, which is, a, it's, it's all right if you're not. I'm incredibly flexible. You want to think about the top of your head reaching for the toes if you're up a little bit higher. Otherwise, you want to think about the chest reaching for the heels. Softening down into the floor. Notice if you're holding tension in your legs or maybe in your face and just relax. Relax it out. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now I'm going to slowly walk the hands back up. See how things feel. Oh, a little bit warmer, a little bit nicer. Oh, let's take the legs up together and straighten them out. Oh. Now I'm trying to sit here with straight legs, both sit bones planted into the floor, spine long, can be a challenge. So if you notice that it feels like it's pulling on your lower back and you're having to sit back into it, I want you to soften the knees a little bit so you can tilt the pelvis forward. If you think of your pelvis as a pot, you want the pot sitting straight up and down. You don't want it tilting back and you don't want it tilting forward. You want to find that straight up and down. Whether that's with bent knees or sitting up on a cushion or a block, does not matter. If you can get your legs straight and keep that pelvis position, you're doing good. Feet are about hip width distance apart here. I'm going to take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale, round over the legs. Inhale, slide the hands along the legs, bring them up, reaching. Exhale. Now start soft here. You don't have to go to your full range of motion. You don't have to go fast. Exhale and round. Just inhale as long as you feel a stretch at the bottom. Then you're doing all right. Inhale to reach up. Lengthen as much as you can. Exhale, keep that length as you cascade over the legs. And up we go. We're going to do that two more times. Last one. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Just fold over the legs. Hold it here. Now, as you're holding, if tucking your chin makes it too much of a stretch, look forward towards your toes. You'll notice that softens the stretch a little bit, and you can kind of work into the meat of it better. Hands can come to the feet or the ankles. If you have a strap, you can use a strap. Grab it real quick here. And I want you to squeeze the thighs, squeeze the glutes. You're activating the legs. And then relax. Squeeze. Strong. Relax. But you're isolating the thighs and the glutes. That's all you're activating. Squeeze. Relax. One more time like that. Squeeze. And relax and then just quick check maybe tuck the chin see if it's changed how the stretch feels it's probably still going to be intense but maybe it's a little bit softer now slowly walk the hands up the legs coming back up to sit take the left foot bend the knee bring the bottom of the foot into the thigh we're going to lengthen up nice and strong take the left arm and stretch it out now try to keep that as straight from the shoulder as you can until you can't twist anymore. Now you're going to bring the left hand across the leg and reach. Now, if you look, you can see when I reach, I'm not reaching by hunching. I'm reaching by tilting the pelvis. That's where I want you to aim for. Left hand can come to the outside edge of the foot, the ankle, the calf, the knee, wherever you are. Hanging out in this stretch, notice if you are unconsciously holding tension in the right leg. See if you can shake it a little bit, wiggle it out, have it, you know, relax. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Notice if you're holding tension in the left leg. See if you can soften it. I tend to find that I'm over flexing my left foot or my foot that's at the inner thigh when I'm in this stretch and it's really intense. Try to relax. Right hand's going to sweep forward and then round over the leg. So here I want you to round. I want you to soften, relax, nose towards the knee. Notice I said towards and not on. If you can get your nose on your knee, awesome sauce. 
If not, awesome sauce. I want you to just work within where you are. All right, now that engagement that we did a second ago, I want you to do that with only the right leg. So you're going to squeeze the right thigh, right glute, try to relax the left leg, keep the core relaxed, and then back it off. Squeeze. And back it off. Let's do that again. Squeeze. And back it off. Walk the hands up. Working your way back up to sit. Right hand comes across. Left arm sweeps up high. And slowly we tilt over the leg. Left hand is reaching in the general direction of your right toes. But you're not necessarily trying to get a hold of them. I want you to feel that stretch all the way down the left side body. Left sit bone is planted into the floor. Lead with the left arm. Bring yourself back up. Beautiful. Huh. Starting to actually feel more mobile, more open. Ooh. Which is nice because I slept weird last night. It was not great. Right foot comes to the inner thigh. We switch it out. Right arm reaches out. Hopefully you don't have a wall or a backdrop in your way. Lengthen and twist as far as you can. Bring the hand across the leg. Reach. And then bring the hand down to the leg. Wherever you land. If you are up here and this is as far as you can tilt, but you've got that really good, strong, straight spine. You've got a strong twist and you've got really good form. That's where I want you to be. Deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> All right, let's take that left arm, sweep it forward. Find the foot, ankle, calf, knee, wherever, round over your leg, nose towards the knee. In the vague general direction is fine. Finding that engagement through the thigh, we're going to squeeze the left leg, left glute, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. Let's do that one more time, squeeze, relax. Walk the hands up the leg, left hand to right knee, right arm stretches up, and we tilt, reaching in the general direction of your left toes, big side body stretch, try to make sure your chest is open here as much as you can, and you're not rolling forward so your chest is pointing towards the floor. <sighs> Reach the right arm up, lift. And come back. All right, let's take the legs forward, shake it out. Ah, feeling okay? Sweep them around. Grab a sip of coffee if you like, because you know caffeinated yoga is best yoga. All right, we're gonna come up to a tabletop position. Palms are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Arms are soft but strong, so you're active, you're engaged. You're pushing the floor away, but you're not locked. We don't want to lock joints. If you notice that this bothers your wrists a little bit, you have a couple of options. You can walk the hands forward a tiny bit, reduce that flex on the wrist, or you are welcome to come up to your fists. And I don't know, this makes me feel kind of badass, so if this is where you need to be, cool. From here, let's take a cow pose by reaching the chest forward. I'm going to tilt the sit bones up so your flower pot, your pelvis, is dumping forward onto the floor. And then stop pouring, lift the spine up towards the ceiling. Pour it out.
and stop pouring. Let's match the breath to this. We inhale, lift the chest, lift the sit bones. Big exhale, spine goes up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin. Inhale, check in with the arms, make sure your elbows aren't locked. Exhale. Come back to a neutral position. And you know what, let's do some hip circles here because I feel like, I feel like my hips are going to pop if I try to do anything else. So bring the weight forward and then over to the right, back and to the left. So you're working into the ball socket joints of the hips around slowly at your own pace. Make three circles in this direction and reverse it. Left, back, right, forward, around. You can make it as big or as small as your knees and your hips allow and your wrists, honestly. One more time. All right. Fabulous. All right, coming back to that center neutral. Strong arms. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Find a downward dog. You can step the toes in just a little bit. Keeping the knees bent, I want you to reach the ribs for the thighs. Now, if you need to, you can always drop down to your knees and check out my form here. You are pressing into the floor with the fingers, straightening through the arms, and reaching the sit bones up to the ceiling. What we are not doing is collapsing the chest towards the floor because, ouch, that is uncomfortable. Everything is strong. So knees can stay bent and then soften the heels towards the floor. Once you feel like you've got that under control, then you can start to straighten the legs some. But you know what? They don't have to go completely straight. Your heels don't have to get onto the floor. If you have found a great stretch here, then that's what we're looking for. You can walk the dog bending one knee, bending the other knee, and you might notice when you're only working with one leg, your heel can come down closer to the floor or possibly just tap the floor. Nice and strong. Fingers are pressing down to keep the palms and the wrists active. So bend both knees, come up high onto the toes and soften both heels towards the floor. Do that again, bend the knees high onto the toes. Soften the heels towards the floor. Bend the knees nice and deep. We're gonna slowly lower down. Back to tabletop, untuck the toes, sit the hips back, and you can find a child's pose. Ah, <sighs> oh, that feels good. Just resting here for a breath, getting a little bit of stretch in the knees. Maybe you're sitting all the way back on your heels, maybe you're not, it's all good. <sighs> all right, back up to tabletop, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, find your downward dog position. Once you feel stable here, you have two options. You can just pick your right foot up a little bit, a little float off the floor. Or if you're feeling really ambitious and sassy, we're going to reach that right leg up for the ceiling and then pull the knee into the chest from wherever you are. And then press it back. You can just reach it right along the floor or you can reach it up high. Pull the knee into the chest. I know this is a little bit more challenging than some of the things we've done. But I'm feeling a little sassy this morning. Reach it up. Now we're gonna pull it into the chest. Look forward, bring the weight forward and see if you can step the right foot in between the hands. Slowly lower the left knee down, untuck the toes. All right, now this might be a point where you need to grab some blocks. You might need to modify one or both hands so that you can easily reach the floor around your leg. So with the right foot forward, you might need a block for the right hand. You might need a block for both hands. 
It's entirely up to you. Take a second, grab your modifiers if you need to. Weight is coming forward and down. You should be feeling a really nice stretch in the front of the left hip. Let's add some motion here. I'm gonna inhale, shift the hips back just a little bit. So the hips should not go farther back than the knee. And bring it forward. We're just trying to release the stretch. Inhale, bring it back, releasing the stretch. And then exhale, bringing it forward. And you might notice as you start moving and it's warm and you're lubricating the joint, then you know it's you might come a little bit farther. Let's do that one more time. Let's bring it back. And bring it forward. Now I want you to Sit in the stretch as far as you can with strength and really good form. Strong left arm pressing into the floor or your block. You're not just locking out the elbow and using it as a kickstand. Everything's strong. And I'm going to distract you from that stretch on your left hip. We're going to take the right arm, sweep it forward, sweep it up, sweep it back, sweep it down. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. One more. Inhale, up, exhale, bring the hand to the side. Find a little bit extra twist, looking over the right shoulder. And let's come back to center. Right hand comes down. From here, you can walk the hands up to the thigh so that you're lifting the chest up, or if you're feeling sassy and spicy, lift me. You can inhale, sweep the arms up. <sighs> All right, now, there's no distracting you from your legs right now. There's no distracting me from my legs right now, but we're still gonna do some things. If you need to, you can always back out of the stretch a little bit, but keep everything strong, keep that form good. Take a big breath in, stretch the fingers up higher, Big breath out, draw the elbows down and back, half angel wings. <sighs> Inhale, reaching up. It's okay if you call me bad names right now because I can't hear you. Exhale. <sighs> I know your legs are talking to you and probably calling you bad things too. Inhale. Exhale, draw the elbows down one more time. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, float the hands down to the floor. Let's release the stretch slowly, bringing the hips back, walk your hands back, let your right toes lift up, breathe a sigh of relief. I know there's a bit more challenge in today, but I know who's here and I know you can handle it. <sighs> deep breath in, deep breath out. You're folding over the right leg, not rounding, folding. Getting the hamstring to stretch. Let's bring the weight forward. Plant the hands. Tuck the left toes, lifting the knee up. Hands are planted, so you're going to pluck your right foot up off the floor and step it back into a downward dog. Maybe you take a moment, walk the dog if that feels good. Lower the knees down to the floor, untuck the toes, sit the hips back, child's pose. Get a little compression on the hip we just stretched. Notice how it feels. <laughs> it's probably got a few choice words for you. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring it back up the tabletop. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips, downward dog. We've got a second side to do. Left leg is either just going to float off the floor a little bit, or you're going to lift it up as high as you can. Bring the knee into the chest. Maybe the weight comes forward a bit. And lift it up. Inhale, bring it into the chest. Exhale, lift it up or reach it back wherever you are. One more time into the chest. Look forward, weight forward, step forward. Lower the right knee down, untuck the toes, 
grab onto those blocks if you need them. Modify is not a dirty word, so if you need to, if you can't quite reach the floor, if you don't feel stable, definitely grab those modifiers. Whew. Weight is forward, finding a deep stretch on the right hip. Now let's inhale, bring it back. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, bring it forward. One more time, bring it back. Bring it forward, soften into the stretch as deep as you can. Nice and strong here. Distract and just the words distraction tactics. Here we go. Left arm swoops forward, up, back, down. Soft right elbow forward, up, back, down. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. Inhale forward, up. Exhale, back, down, last one, inhale, forward, up, back, hand to thigh, find a twist. Just a light pressure into the thigh, it's fine. <sighs> Bring it back to center. Now you can walk your hands up to the thigh one at a time, or Take it up, nice and strong. Inhale, reach. Hips are forward and down. Still level, still good form. Inhale, stretch up through the fingertips. Exhale. Make some noise, it helps. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, elbows down and back. Half angel wings. Spread the fingers, open the chest. Inhale. Exhale, try not to listen to your legs screaming at you. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands back to the floor. Let's walk it back. You can all breathe a sigh of relief. Let the left toes lift up off the floor. You're lengthening and folding over the leg. Hamstring stretch on the left. Your right hip, I'm sure, definitely has some choice words. Bodies are very talkative. If only you, you know, take a moment to listen and maybe push yourself to the point where they talk loudly. <sighs> Let's bring it forward. Really? Tucking the back toes. I'm going to lift the back knee up, plant the hands down, try to pluck your left foot up, sit it back. You can walk the dog here. Ah, feeling good. And then lower the knees down, untuck the toes, sit the hips back, reaching forward, stretching back. Relaxing into the floor for a few glorious breaths. <sighs> Feeling the compression on the hip that we just stretched. Notice if it feels the same or if it feels different than the other side did. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We'll walk the hands in. Coming on up. Hands to the thighs, you're sitting back on the heels. Take a moment, you can roll the shoulders. Take a couple of breaths. And then I'll lift up to the knees. I'm gonna do a little bit of a heart, heart opening posture here, opening up through the chest, lengthening and stretching across the front of the body, strengthening the back because remember, we are talking about the back earlier. Hands come to the lower back. 
fingers are spread out, thumbs are pointing out to the side. So I'm going to turn this way for a second so you can see. So you want as if you were sliding your hands into back pockets. But they're imaginary back pockets because women don't get pockets. Stupid fashion. All right, now, tops of the feet are pushing down into the floor. And we're going to lift starting with the low belly. So everything lifts up, lifts up a little bit higher, lifts up through the chest, and the eyes can go up. If you feel all right, just lengthening up here, you can start to tilt back a tiny bit. Hips are still pressing forward, trying to keep them stacked over the knees. Now, what you're not doing is you're not sitting all of your weight into your hands. Your hands are just there to, you know, give yourself a little bit of support. Lengthen up and lean back. forward, set the heat, hips back onto the heels. Uh, Viper X831, thank you. I know I'm wearing a shirt that says I hope your day is as nice as my butt, but come on, maybe just wish me a nice day too, okay? Yeah, thank you. Let's set back up. Hands to the lower back, sliding down into the back pockets, lengthen up, tilt, lift, lean, eyes go up. Keep the neck strong, maybe taking it a little bit farther. If you feel yourself start to shake a little bit here, that's normal, it's all good. And bring it back up to center. <sighs> Set the hips back, relax, deep breath in. Deep breath out. <sighs> Lovely, maybe grab yourself a sip of coffee or water, you know, if you're a responsible human instead of me. Now, we're going to work on the hips a little bit more because, funny thing, everything is attached. Your hips and your back tend to cause each other problems. If your back is tight, it can pull on your hips and get them out of place. If your hips are tight, it can pull on your back and cause problems. So, we're going to work on the hips a little bit more. That and working on the hips is just really, really good. Like, you, you store a lot of stress and emotional junk in your hips, so stretching them out, working on them, always a good thing. Bring yourself forward into a tabletop position. Walk your hands forward about one hand length. Take the right knee up towards your right wrist and then slide the heel underneath the left hip. If you want, if you have the space to, you can tuck the back toes and sort of inchworm your way back into pigeon pose. Staying on the palms for a second. <sighs> Make sure your hips are level, hips are even, so that means we're not tilting over onto the right. This is not going to do anything for you except pinch things. So I want to keep it all balanced, stable, set. If you feel alright here, you're welcome to come down to the elbows. If it's too intense coming down to the elbows, grab those blocks. Put them under your elbows. Lift yourself up just a little bit. Find a halfway point between palms and elbows. You're welcome to let the head hang forward here, but try not to hunch into the shoulders. So you're still pressing the floor away. You're still active and stretching the back side of the body. If you have even more space here, you are welcome to reach the arms forward and relax down towards the floor. That can be a very intense stretch, and that's, that's not where I am today. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Pressing the floor away, head can hang down to stretch the back of the neck. <sighs> From here, if you want to take it a little bit deeper, you're welcome to pick the back foot up. Now maybe that just means picking it up to the point of getting a stretch on the quad. Maybe it means actively trying to squeeze it in with the strength of the leg. Or you can kind of swing it back and forth very gently, very controlled. <sighs> Working into the quad. 
If you want, you can use the same technique that we did earlier. Squeeze the heel in and then activate through the thigh and relax. By squeezing and relaxing, you're actually doing more than just holding a static stretch. I, I always prefer active stretches over static stretches. Now, if you are feeling super satisfied by today, you can reach your right hand back and maybe try to get a hold of the foot. If that's not a thing, if you're laughing at me right now, I understand. But, you know, you never know till you try. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. Slowly float the foot back down. Right hand comes back down to the floor. Let's lift up to the palms, finding a proud pigeon. Now the difference between a normal pigeon and a proud pigeon. So normal pigeon, your hands are out front, you're leaning the chest forward, and you're just working into the right thigh. Proud pigeon, you're starting to try and right your pelvis. So right now it's tilted forward. How much can you tilt it up without just arching into the back, okay? This is a movement from the pelvis. Deep breath in. Maybe you come up to the fingertips or you walk your hands back towards your thumb. Maybe not. Maybe you're staying forward. Maybe you're looking at me like, what are you doing? That's fine. I never want you to work past the point where it feels like a productive stretch. Okay, let's walk the hands forward and then walk them over to the right. We're going to slowly bring the weight onto the right hip so the left leg can release and come around. Finding another twist. Right heel to left hip, left heel, you have options. Inside of the knee, top of the knee, outside of the knee. It depends on the flexibility of your hips, the openness of your hips, and you know, just several different factors. So sometimes this is a really good starting place, having the foot in front of the knee. This makes it really accessible. This makes it a little bit deeper of a stretch, a little bit more intense. Left hand comes behind lightly. It's just a kickstand. It's not putting a bunch of pressure on. Right arm reaches up, elbow to the knee, and find your twist. Now here is where if you've got crunchies in there, maybe this is where you get them out. Yep, there's one. You can lightly press your elbow into your knee. You can have your hand up. You can have your hand down. You can make a fist. You can do a mudra if you want. You can do whatever you want with your hand here. <sighs> Lengthening up on the inhale, twisting a little deeper on the exhale. <sighs> Make sure you're not holding tension in your face or in your right leg. Sometimes when we're trying to twist, we're pressing into the left leg or unconsciously squeezing through the right leg and holding tension. I want you to relax, soften into the twist. Let's slowly unwind. Sweep the leg around. Set yourself back up into a tabletop position. Readjust as you need to. Walk the hands forward. Left knee to left wrist. Heel underneath the right hip. And you can inchworm yourself back into pigeon on the other side. Now maybe it feels different on this side than on the first side. That's very normal. Bodies are not symmetrical. Lengthening. And then maybe walking down to the elbows if you did on the other side. If you modified with blocks on the other side, by all means, grab those blocks and modify on this side as well. If you did reach your arms out on the other side to relax down towards the floor, you can do so here. Taking deep breaths, softening down, trying to match the other side. Yoga is about finding balance in the body. It's not necessarily about twisting yourself into pretzel type shapes. It's not about doing all the really cool handstands or anything like that. It's, it's about bringing your body into balance 
working with your body, not against your body. Using your strength to create more strength. All right, if you did on the other side, just pick up the back foot and squeeze it in a little bit. You can just kind of find your stretch and hang out there. You can take it a little bit farther and relax it, farther and relax it. Or maybe you squeeze it in, activate through the right thigh and relax. Just be careful. If you have a really tight hamstring, bringing it in as far as you can and then activating the muscle even more can cause a cramp. So you want to find that sweet spot of, I'm getting a really good stretch. I can squeeze my muscle without, you know, making it freak out. Good luck. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. If you did on the other side, I'm going to pick up the left hand, reach back, find the foot, maybe. Solid, solid, maybe. <sighs> deep breath in, deep breath out. Slowly release the foot back down, settle back into your pigeon pose. <sighs> Let's lift it up, proud pigeon. Be the proudest pigeon that ever did pride. Lifting up, trying to tilt the pelvis back, not just arch through your spine. And then we'll walk the hands forward a little bit to walk the hands over to the left. Lean onto the left hip, right leg comes around. Ah. Left heel to the right hip. Right heel is either going to be on the inside edge of the knee, top of the knee, outside edge of the knee. It's up to you. Make sure both sit bones are down into the floor. And if both sit bones are on the floor but your foot's not down, bring it forward. Modify to make it as safe and strong as you can. Right hand behind you as a kickstand. You take the left arm up, elbow to the knee. Find your twist. Now this is a strong, strong twist. Like I said, on the other side, if you have some crunchies in there, now's the time to see if they'll let go. I don't want you to force it, but maybe just check in. Give it a little, little extra twist and see where it goes. <sighs> left hand can do whatever the left hand wants to do. You can do fancy hands like Art Deco. You can just keep it up. You can bring it down in front of you. Whatever you want to do. Nobody can see you right now, so be silly. Be ridiculous. Relaxing through the left leg. I just noticed I was squeezing through mine and holding tension there, so you probably are too. Relax and soften. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, slowly unwind. Let's just uncross the legs and straighten them out. Give them a little shake, little wiggle. Notice how they feel. Place your hands down next to you. Scoot your butt forward a little bit. And then we're going to lean all the way back. Down to the floor. Knees are bent. You can walk the heels in. Heels are reaching towards the butt, not trying to get all the way up against them because that's a really rough range of motion, but just walking in to a comfortable distance. Hands will press down into the floor, fingers stretching for the heels. Press down into the palms, push down into your heels, squeeze through the back side of the body, and try to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. This is our bridge pose. Notice here if your knees try to reach out wide, maybe walk your feet out a little wider to counteract that. And slowly melt yourself back down to the floor. Now I just kind of threw you into that, so we're going to walk through it a little bit more here. Pressing into the heels, you're activating through the legs to curl the tailbone up towards the ceiling, lifting up as high as you can. See if you can just press through the heels. Your, your butt's still going to activate because it has to, but you're not 
actively squeezing it. You're just pressing through the heels to lift up a little higher. And slowly melt it back down to the floor. Let's do that one more time. Lift it up, peeling off the floor, little by little, as high as you can. Slowly back down. Draw the knees up into the chest. You can keep the knees together or bring them a little bit wider. It's up to you. Maybe you're reaching for opposite elbows. Maybe you've got one hand on each knee. Maybe you need to take your ponytail out because it's pushing into the back of your head. <sighs> Pulling the knees in for a little compression and you can rock gently side to side. Come back to center. Let's set the feet down. Straighten out the left leg. Make sure you don't knock anything over. Take the right knee, bring it back up into the chest. You can hug it in tight for just a moment. And then take the left hand and draw the knee across the body, down towards the floor. Now, I want you to see if you can get your knee on the floor, even if you roll onto your side here. And then you can take the right arm, reach it up and out, and let that float towards the floor. If you need to, slide a block under your knee to reduce the twist just a little bit. And deep breath in. Deep breath out. You've got the twist in the lower spine. You're stretching across the right arm. You might feel it from the bicep into the pectoral muscle. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Slowly bring it back to center. Plant your right foot so that we can draw the left up. Straighten the right out. Give yourself plenty of support. Draw the left knee into the chest. Hug it in both hands. And then the right hand brings it across the body down to the floor or onto a block. Left arm can stretch up for the ceiling and then open out wide. Big, big stretch here. One last twist. <sighs> nice big breath. Now slowly bring it back to center. Plant the left foot down for a moment, and then you can straighten it out. Let your arms reach down by your sides, palms facing up. We're just going to take a few breaths here. Try to soften each muscle, each joint. Your toes are rolling out wide. Your legs are relaxed. Your face is relaxed. Your arms are melting into your sides. If you notice you're holding tension anywhere, see if you can soften it. And just let the floor hold you. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out of the mouth. Do that again. Inhale. Again, inhale. As big of a breath as you can. Exhale, empty the lungs. And two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. One last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take the arms and stretch them overhead. You can interlace the fingers if it feels good. Reach out through the toes. Reach through the fingers. Full body stretch. Ooh, just whatever feels good right here. Ah. Oh. Walk your feet in. Let's hug the knees into the chest one more time. Squeeze them in. Gentle rock side to side. You can either roll onto your side to press up to sit, or you can cross the ankles, one hand at each knee. 
rock yourself up to a seated position. Taking a moment, find that same grounded, centered seat that you had at the start. Hands resting on the knees, sitting up tall, weights back into the sit bones. We'll take three deep breaths here together to close the class. Big inhale. Big exhale. Breathing together, even across the distance. Inhale. Exhale. On this last one, inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Gather up all the goodness. Press the palms together and draw them to the heart, sealing in your practice for the day. The light in me honors and acknowledges the light in you. Namaste. <sighs> oh, that felt pretty good. Thank you for joining me for my very first Twitch stream yoga class. Celebration. It seemed to work well for me. Like here, it did not blip at all. So hopefully it didn't blip for you either. If you have any questions about anything that we did today, feel free to drop it in the chat um, and uh, let me know. If you had something that you did like, if there was something you didn't like, if you want to call me bad names where I can hear you because I made you stretch your hips really, you know, a lot, you know, drop it in the chat. It's okay. I'll still love you. Um, this is a free class. This is a gift to the wide world, but if you do want to, if you feel moved to help support me, there are several ways you can do that. Um, I do have a donate button on my channel page where you can um, send money into a virtual tip jar on PayPal. Um, I also have a Patreon. You're welcome to become a patron and you get patron exclusive content Plus, you help me be able to make these videos. Um, and then the third way that you can support me right now is I have my Amazon wish list uh, on my panel um, or on my channel page also because there are some things that I would like to have, but I can't justify the expense because I've been unemployed for a year, um, almost exactly a year at this point. And yeah, so if you want to support me in that way, give me a smile, give me a happy dance, that's another way you can do that. Uh, you can also find these links in the event on uh, my Facebook page. <laughs> that's okay, swearing during half angel wings is perfectly fine. It's, it's a chest opener and, well, you've got a lot of chest to open. Um... <laughs> so you can find the links to both, all three of these ways to support me on the Facebook event as well. You can follow my Facebook page so that you know whenever I'm having class. You can follow me here on Twitch, which will actually help me be able to um, expand my reach even more. You can follow me on Instagram. All three of those will help me. You're welcome. Come on, Viber, look, like, that's unnecessary. This is, this is, this is, that's not what this is, okay? Like, come on, knock it off. Um, uh, so, if you want to support the Mindful Spoon Yoga, you can go to any one of those things, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, you can follow me here, follow me on all of those, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep doing this here on Twitch, and it's, I'm, I'm really excited. Tell your friends, uh, share the class, share the pages, share everything. I appreciate you. I appreciate my patrons so much. And yeah, can't wait to see you next week. Bye guys.